Happy Easter to everyone. Well, the Gladys Aylwood story was a wonderful story for me to learn about. Um, but this Easter story is a story more wonderful by far. 10,000 times more wonderful, maybe we could say. What we know about this story is that before Jesus was known in Israel, God sent a man called John the Baptist um, and he came preaching um, and the Bible says he lifted up his voice um, and he, he was a voice crying out in the wilderness and he was calling out, prepare the way, prepare the way for the Lord. And then a day came when he um, was, was on the banks of the Jordan and among those vast crowds, he sees Jesus. And the Bible teaches us that he lifts up his voice and he calls out and cries out and he says to the people, look, behold, see the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Now, the people knew about these lambs. Uh, they, for, for centuries, they'd sacrificed these lambs, as was required by God for their sin. They knew about these sacrificial lambs. But a lamb from God? Who was this? Who was John talking about? A lamb who would die for them? Yes. Jesus, the Lamb. At least 33 times in the New Testament, Jesus is referred to as the Lamb. I like to think that was one for every, every year of his life, that from the start of his life on earth to the end of his life on earth, he was completely the Lamb of God. And 30 of those 33 references happen in Revelation. Now, Revelation is that last book of the Bible. It's the book where, where God sort of tears back the veil and it lets us look into the eternal world. It lets us see into heaven itself. And there, in that book, he's referred to, Jesus is referred to almost exclusively all the way through as the Lamb, the Lamb, the Lamb. And so a day came in Israel when this Lamb of God, this Lamb from Bethlehem, died at Calvary. All the Old Testament had been leading up to this. All the Old Testament points towards it. All the New Testament looks back to it. This is the pivotal moment for mankind. It's, it, it's the centre of all history, if you like. There was no other day, nor will there ever be another day on earth like the day when Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, dies for the sins of the world. When Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, dies for my sins. Three days later, he's raised from the dead and he ascends from the earth and he returns triumphant to heaven. And there the Bible tells us that 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands of angels begin to cry out they're crying out worthy 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 is the lamb worthy is the lamb who was slain and every eye in heaven gazes on him and every voice begins to worship him and it's as though heaven cannot contain its wonder at what has happened on the earth at what happened at calvary when their lamb of god died for the sins of the world and then the bible tells us that in heaven they begin to sing a new song they're singing you are worthy jesus you are worthy to take the scroll and to break its seal for you were killed and by your sacrificial death you have bought for god people from every tribe every language nation and race worthy worthy is the lamb who was slain he is the lamb standing at the centre of the throne. He is the lamb from whom salvation comes. He is the lamb who is the light of the city. He is the lamb who is worthy of all praise and all glory forever and forever. He is the lamb whose blood has washed the people's robes white. He is the lamb who is worthy to open the scrolls of the book. He is the lamb who in the last days will stand upon the earth. He will stand upon Mount Zion. He is the Lamb who holds in his hands the very book of life. He is the Lamb who has triumphed. No wonder John the Baptist said to the people, Look, see, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. We're just going to pray. 
Oh God, would you help us to do what John told the people to do, to look? Would you help us to look at this lamb? Would you help us to drag our eyes away from the ordinary, meagre things of earth and to lift up our eyes and look again on this lamb, Lord, um, until he fills our thoughts and our vision and our hearts, Lord, even our whole lives. We pray this Easter, would you come and help us to look? Would you move in our hearts that we might gaze on Jesus? Amen. Amen. Oh,